Now, here's the thing you also have to realize. And see, people don't get this a lot of times. Some, some do because we talked a little bit about it. If I say, be healed, if that was caused by a devil, it's the devil has to go. Even though I didn't say, devil, go. I said, be healed. For them to be healed, that devil has to go. So I don't have to address the devil. Now, I can. And if it is a situation that is purely a devil, sometimes I will say, go. A lot of times I don't address the devil. I don't call it by name. Sometimes I know. Sometimes I don't. If I do know, it's because God, I needed to know. That happens very seldom, other than the fact that I know certain things are spirits, even though we give them uh, normal names, like cancer. Cancer is a spirit, right? And it manifests in a physical way. But so a lot of times I'll say go, or I'll say come out, and when I do that, I'm usually talking to a spirit. Sometimes I am talking to a disease. Sometimes I'm talking to a tumor. It doesn't matter what I say. And so, just like Jesus said, it doesn't matter, you know, what does it matter if I say your sins be forgiven or rise, take up your bed and walk? It doesn't, that's not the point. The point is the person that's ministering, in this case me, what counts is what I am intending to happen. In other words, my intention is where my faith is. My faith is my intention. You understand? It works together. And so whenever I use my faith, I'm using my intention because I'm intending this to happen, and so I say for that to happen. Now, whether I say devil, sickness, disease, uh, adversary, none of that matters. All that matters is what do I mean? What am I believing? Because what I mean is what I'm believing. And so what counts is when I say it, what am I believing? You know, if I knew it was a devil, I could say be healed and the devil still has to go. Or if I know it's sickness, then because sickness is an adversary, I could call it a devil even though it wasn't a spirit itself. Does this make sense? See, we get hung up on these, you know, <laughs> on these technicalities. And it wasn't like that in the early days of the church. Things were just general. People had power to set people free. Didn't matter if it was healing, you know, sickness or disease. Didn't matter if they needed deliverance. None of that mattered. All that mattered was did that person have authority or power to do that? That's all that matters. 